think it is. It's about uh, three eighths of an inch. That's about right. The step now that I've, I've thrown it is I'm going to take a pin tool and I'm going to cut right through the diameter of the whole piece, going right through the center. It's a straight line from one side to the other. And then I'm going to cut out a little a football shape, cut around like that. And the larger piece, lar the if you cut out a larger piece, you'll get more of an oval, and less you'll get a smaller oval. Right, now, once I've done that, I'm going to take and put some water underneath it, and a little bit on the inside too that'll drop through those cracks that I've cut. Pull the wire through it. I'll do that a couple times. Make sure I get plenty of water under there. Then I should be able to take a pen tool, get under there, and theoretically, at least, working, lift those pieces out. Hmm. The pen tool, it, I think I've got too much water in it, so it's not lifting out very easily. Now, the water will help uh, the piece slip, so I just push it together until they touch, and then I take my finger and press it together real well. Then finally, I've rolled out a little coil here, and I'm going to put that, there's plenty of slip down in there, so I'm going to put that right over the cut area. That'll strengthen that up. And just press it in with my thumb. And kind of blend it. Then I'm going to take a rib and clean it up. That's it. And usually I off, I'll often take it now and bulge out the sides even further by pushing with a relatively a sponge that I've really squeezed out. Push from the inside out. Like that. And then on the other side. slightly concave so that it so it dips in slightly. So that should sit down there. Nice. Sits ready to decorate. Just a rope of clay that I rolled out. Then I took uh, one of those triangular pieces with uh, teeth on it, a rib with teeth on it, and I pulled it over this thing several times, all the way around, and I twisted it a little bit and then put that on there. It gives you a basket form. And here's another one that has ears on it. Real simple. I just took and put some little ears on there and I poked it out from the inside and gave some little, a little texture to the side there. Did a little bit of decoration like that. I'm going to use the, put these in soda kill so I want to have some texture on them. 
so I haven't decided what to do with this one. Another thing that I've done is I put animals over the top, like a leaping dog or a leaping cat or something like that, sort of stretched over to form a handle. So uh, there's a lot of possibilities, and I like the. I think it helps to work in a series. So I've got five of these pieces going right now. My plan is to do ten of them, and we'll see what happens as you go along. You see some sort of development, hopefully. Um, so that's it. It's one that I I just did. Now this I just wish this this dog out real quickly, and I'm going to leave the cracks and everything in it. So it's just kind of primitive looking. That's the idea. I could spend a lot of time refining it, but I prefer it to be kind of 